how to use selections in Rebel 3. First thing to do, go over to the Select Selection. You can find it in the Tools panel. And then you'll see a panel called Selection. Just go for the rectangular selection and just simply apply it. And what you can do, you can scale it, you can rotate it, and you can continue to work with it. Once you've finished, press Return. Now what you can do, you can add a brush stroke, any of the brush strokes, so maybe watercolour, and it will be only applied within the confines of that selection. You can see the various brushes, the watercolour drift downwards there. There's a number of other options. So you've got rectangles, but you've also got ellipses or circles. So simply apply the circle. And again, you can resize it. You can rotate it and you can press return. And again, go to the brush tools, press things like watercolor or ink and apply them. Again, the paint will infuse into the paper, depending on the settings, of course, of your paper. There's a couple other options as well. So again, go to the selection and there's a polygon. Now you can create very complex polygons. You can create very simple polygons. Simply click on the document and then go to another position, click on that and click all the way around. And you can create sort of zigzag designs or maybe rhombus shapes, whatever. But you can create a whole variety of different polygon designs. Once you're happy with it, press return or go to the last point and click on that. And now you've got your selection and press return. And again, apply the brush stroke, watercolour, ink, etc., crayons, or the whole range, the markers. And of course, you can add to that selection. Don't have to just keep as is there. Also, what you can do, you can add a freehand selection so you can create a more curved design. So again, go to selection. You can also use magic wand. I'm not going to show that in this tutorial. That requires color and various things to actually be set, but I'm just going to just apply the basic four selections there. I'm just going to create a quick freehand selection, draw that, press return. And once you've done that, you can go to the brush tools again and apply the brush. And again, the brush will, the paint will infuse into the paper. Again, go back to the selection. And there's a couple other options. There's add to selection. So you can go to that. There's also a last one, which I'm not going to use, which I should have done, but I didn't, but which is, but you can add to the selection, press return there, and you can see the selection has been added to the current selection. And you can repeat that numerous times. You can, of course, use the rectangle. You can use the ellipse. You can use freehand as well as the polygon. And you can apply it a couple of times or three, four, ten times up to you to create more complex selections. Then what you can do, again, you can apply your brush strokes. And they will all be applied within that selection. Well, as adds to selection, you can also use the next option, which is subtract. So you can also use the last one, which is the intersect one. So if you're using the subtract, when you do that, go again with the rectangle, you'll see it's chopped out. So you've got now less of a selection. And of course, you can use all the other tools exactly the same. So just simply go to the ellipse, and then again, press return, and you've got your selection now with that chopped out. And again, you can go and apply your brush strokes. And it will all be within that confine of that selection. What you can also do, you can invert the selection. You can go to the Edit menu. 
And there's an option, Invert Selection. There's also Select All, so the whole of the image will be selected. Deselect All, deselects everything. Invert Selection, and it will invert it. So now the selection is around the edge, as well as the actual, that inner bit that you had selected before, but it's been inverted. So when you apply your brush stroke, it won't be applied inside, it's just applied outside. So you can just go over there and just apply it. So you can create a nice effect around the edge. And of course you could use that maybe to create a, a nice pencil sketch around the edge. And of course you can add other colors. I'm using pink, but it could be black, green, blue, whatever. Makes no difference. And you of course can always go and deselect it all. There's the deselect command or select all. So the whole image will then be selected. So now I've deselected it. So at that point you can then of course continue to add your brush strokes within as well as around the edge of what was the selection. And deselect, so every, there's no selection now. What you can do also do with selections, very useful, go to layer menu and new layer. Go to one of the tools, I'm using rectangle. Simply add that, and now any brush strokes will be added to that select that layer, but within the confines of that selection. Now I made a mistake there. I'm actually using subtract option. So what's happened? The whole of the area has been selected, so it chops it out. So now when I apply my brush stroke, it will be around the edge again because of that add option. It's easy done. You should always remember to go back if you want to, of course, you don't have to, but you can see now it's around the edge. That was purely because I used the subtract option. Because if there's no selection there at all and you add a subtract, it just basically means the space around the edge is also all selected. So you just have that area that you can't paint into. So go, go for new selection, just add a new selection, and I'm just going to do it now. Again, this is to a layer. Again, go to the various brush tools. You can use any of them, acrylic, etc. And now this time, of course, it's applied inside, which is what I wanted in the first place. So I've got that layer and obviously selection but i don't need the selection anymore so i can deselect i can go to the edit menu and deselect or i can just go to the selection there and deselect there and then what i can do of course i can simply just transform it i can move it so i can reposition it but also i can go to the layer menu and duplicate the layer so layer menu and duplicate and then i can use transform again and move that around and sometimes it just suddenly changes tool. I want that tool now. So I can just move it around. And what I can do, I can press return. So it stays in the position that I want it. And then I can recolor that layer independently. Obviously, it's the other layer. So colorize, filter, colorize. And that's all using selections. So there's a a powerful feature of Rebel and certainly worth checking out. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always add new tutorials about Rebel, Photoshop, Illustrator, and many others. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.